this tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to batch process multiple images at once. So right now I'm just going to highlight the images I'd like to edit. I'm going to double click on them and because Photoshop is my default editor, it's going to open up into Adobe Camera Raw because these are all raw images. What you'll notice is that all of the images are now displayed across the bottom here. And when you have multiple images with similar lighting conditions, similar sort of uh, context, you're going to be able to edit multiple at the same time and this is going to save you a lot of time. So if I'm doing this in Adobe Camera Raw, what you can do is either click um, Shift and then just select all the ones you'd like. Now what you, can note, you might have noticed is right now I've got just the first one selected, but if I go to the very last one and just click, it's going to select all of them. Or you can go through and individually select the ones that you'd like to edit. And then you're just going to do your basic edits or whatever edits you'd like to do as you normally would. And you're going to see the changes appear on all of the images at the same time. I'm just going to quickly go through these and uh, adjust them. I'm going to dehaze a little bit. I might dehaze a little more than that. Bring up the vibrance. Add a little texture there. And I'll actually increase the warmth a bit. And there we go. So that is how you can edit or batch edit multiple images in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, of course, you can always uh, do more things to the set image, such as um, cropping them. So what I'm going to do right now is actually crop. I'm going to crop it to a 16 by 9. And I'm just going to... That's kind of good there. I'm going to hit enter to apply that crop. And then I'm going to click down at the bottom where it says Adobe RGB 1998. And I'm going to make sure that that, when I export or um, save my images, it's going to resize and fit as specific uh, size. So right now I've got uh, 1920 by 1080 and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Now you can change that since this actually isn't going to be uh, printed. I might change that to let's say 72 pixels per inch which is more of a screen resolution. And then click OK and then all you have to do now is either click open or done and that will automatically save that. You'll get your XMPs and you'll still have your raw image or raw file. Now if I were to go back in and open up just one of those, again I just clicked on the image and clicked open, go into image, image size, and then switch those from inches to pixels. You'll see that it's at the exact size that I output it at with resolution and everything. Click OK. And I've got my image cropped and edited the way I wanted. And I could do that with any of the images and they would all be the same. And that's how you batch edit in Adobe Camera Raw.